Hey everyone, this is Taz and welcome to my channel. I hope everybody's doing great. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to cook different kinds of legumes and beans in the instant pot. So it's pretty easy to cook in the instant pot. All we have to do is pressure cook them. However, we need to know the precise cooking time. So in this video, I'm going to share the precise cooking time for different kinds of legumes and beans. Legumes are packed with protein, fiber and nutrition. So we need to include them in our everyday everyday diet and we also need to ensure we are having freshly cooked legumes rather than consuming canned or processed legumes. Cooking all the legumes, beans and lentils in the instant pot is a breeze so it will be very healthy without losing the nutrition. So guys, let's get started. Here are the legumes that I'll be cooking in the instant pot and some of these legumes we enjoy on a regular basis like chickpeas. Who doesn't like chickpeas, right? And this is mung bean. I also love some of the dishes that's made with mung bean. So this is mung dal, uh, split mung bean uh, without the skin. Here is chana dal. So this is basically split chickpeas widely used in Indian cooking and this is a bit hard. Here is black eyed beans. So this has a black spot on the center of the bean. And this is tour dal, widely used in Indian, South Indian cuisine for making samba, rasam and dals. And here is the most popular lentil, red lentil, very popular in all kind of cuisines, Middle Eastern, Mediterranean, Indian, everywhere. It's very popular. And here is the red kidney beans. So let's cook all these in the instant pot. First, let's pressure cook chickpeas. So I'm taking two cups of chickpeas and I'm not going to soak this in water. If you prefer, you can soak it in water for a few hours or even overnight. I'm just going to rinse this under running water. Adding the rinsed chickpeas to the stainless steel pot. Next, I'm going to add three cups water. So for two cups chickpeas, we can add uh, three cups water. Close the pot with the lid. Let's select pressure cook setting and set the time to 25 minutes. So chickpeas is really hard so we need to pressure cook in the instant pot for 25 minutes for making soft chickpeas. So pressure should be high. After 25 minutes of pressure cooking, let the pressure release naturally for 5 to 10 minutes and then we can do a quick pressure release. So if we do quick pressure release right away after pressure cooking, there will be a lot of steam releasing and make sure to turn on the exhaust. So let's open the lid. So here is the pressure cooked chickpeas. It has turned soft. Uh, so if you want more firm chickpeas, uh, you only have to pressure cook for 20 minutes. So this has turned really soft. I like my chickpeas to be soft. You can pressure cook the chickpeas well in advance and then store it in the refrigerator or in the freezer for a few weeks. And then we can make a lot of dishes out of it. We can add it to our salad or we can make chana masala, a very popular vegetarian Indian dish. We can make hummus or falafel out of the cooked chickpeas. Next, let's cook moong bean. So I have taken one cup moong bean. Even this one is a very hard legume. So I'm not going to soak this in water. It's up to you guys. If you prefer, you can soak it in water for a few hours. So I'm going to take this in a strainer and rinse it under running water. So going to add the rinsed moong bean to the stainless steel pot. For one cup, I'm going to add two cups water. Let's close the pot with the lid. Select pressure cook setting and let's set the time to 25 minutes. So this is similar to chickpeas. We need to pressure cook for 25 minutes for making really soft moong bean and the pressure should be at high clicking start. I'm using instant pot ultra model. After 25 minutes of pressure cooking, I have let the pressure release naturally for five minutes and then I'm going to do a quick pressure release. So let's open the lid. Here is the well cooked moong bean. It has turned really soft. So now if you prefer moong bean to be firm after it has been pressure cooked, you only have to pressure cook for 20 minutes. I love this soft texture. So moong bean, we can add it to salads. You can, we can make a lot of dishes with it. Uh, porridge, uh, add it to soups. Uh, there are a lot of uh, South Indian dishes. We can also stir fry cooked moong bean with uh, coconut. Um, so it's very healthy and 
nutritious. Next, let's cook tur dal or split pigeon peas. So this is without the skin and it is split. So this is one of the popular dals or lentils used in Indian cooking. This is used for making sambar, rasam, a lot of uh, South Indian dishes uh, we can make with this uh, dal or lentil. I have added tur dal to a strainer and I'm going to rinse this under running water. If you prefer, you can soak it in water for a few hours. So I'm going to add the rinsed tur dal to the stainless steel pot. I have taken one cup rinsed tur dal. So next going to add two cups water. Let's close the pot with the lid. Selecting pressure cook setting and I'm going to set the time to 10 minutes for tur dal we have to pressure cook only for 10 minutes at high pressure after 10 minutes of pressure cooking either you can do a quick pressure release or let the pressure release naturally for five minutes and then do a quick pressure release let's open the lid so here is the perfectly cooked tur dal or split pgn piece all these lentils we can cook ahead of time and then store it in the refrigerator for a few days or in the freezer for a few weeks. Next, let's cook red kidney beans. So even this beans is very popular in many cuisines, Indian, Chinese, uh, Mexican. Um, so I'm going to rinse this under running water. So if you prefer, you can soak it in water. So adding one cup red kidney beans that's been rinsed to the stainless steel pot so for one cup i'm going to add two cups water let's close the pot with the lid so let's select pressure cook setting on the instant pot uh, setting the time to 25 minutes so similar to chickpeas and mung bean even red kidney beans have to be pressure cooked for 25 minutes at high pressure after 25 minutes of pressure cooking, I'm going to let the pressure release naturally for 5 minutes. So it's been 5 minutes. Next, I'm going to do a quick pressure release. So let the pressure release completely. So let's open the lid. So here is the well pressure cooked red kidney beans. Uh, and these have turned really soft. So look at this. It has a very soft texture. So 25 minutes uh, pressure cooking. I'm going to place the cooked red kidney beans to a bowl and don't discard this liquid it's very nutritious so when we make curries or stews we can add this uh, liquid uh, we can add red kidney beans to salads um, it can be added to a lot of Mexican dishes as a topping for burritos and uh, a lot of Indian uh, curries can be also made with this cooked red kidney beans we can also add it to rice um, so it's really healthy and nutritious on to our fifth legume moong dal so moong bean that's the whole bean this one it has the skin it's the whole bean so moong dal uh, skin's been removed and it's split so this is not a very hard lentil so i've taken one cup going to rinse this under running water adding one cup rinsed moong dal to the stainless steel pot adding two cups water so in the instant pot uh, lentil or legume and water ratio is uh, one is to two let's close the pot with the lid let's select pressure cook setting so i'm going to set the time to three minutes so moong dal is very small and um, it's it's a bit soft lentil it will be cooked in just three minutes at high pressure after three minutes of pressure cooking, I let the pressure release naturally for five minutes and then did a quick pressure release. So here is the perfectly cooked uh, moong dal. Look at this. So it has turned soft. I'm going to place the cooked moong dal to a bowl. So I'm draining the water, just adding the cooked dal. Next, let's cook black-eyed peas. This is one of my favorite legumes. It has a creamy consistency. And um, so look at this beans. It's a very hard bean. Um, so I'm going to rinse this under running water. I've taken one cup and there is a black spot on the center of the bean. Adding one cup rinsed black-eyed beans to the stainless steel pot. And I'm going to add two cups water. So let's close the pot with the lid. 
selecting pressure cook setting so I'm going to set the time to 15 minutes so this is a hard bean so we need to cook it for 15 minutes at high pressure so after 15 minutes of pressure cooking I've let the pressure release naturally for five minutes then I'm going to do a quick pressure release let's open the lid here is the pressure cooked black eyed beans and it has turned soft with 15 minutes of pressure cooking black eyed beans are excellent for making stews and soups so it has a creamy texture and consistency and it will make the dishes very rich and creamy in kerala olen is a very popular dish made with uh, black eyed beans coconut milk is also added it's a very subtle tasting yet delicious stew based dish i do have the cooking video i'll post the link in the description below so do try that uh, recipe it's absolutely delicious next let's cook chana dal so this is basically split chickpeas widely used in indian cooking especially in south indian cooking this is used for making chutneys added to temperings or tatkas uh, instead of tur dal we can also add this for making sambar and resam also uh, this can be used for making some sweets and desserts uh, like puran polis and payasams I have rinsed one cup of chana dal under running water so adding to the stainless steel pot adding two cups water let's close the pot with the lid select pressure cook setting so next I'm going to set the time to 10 minutes at high pressure clicking start I'm using instant pot ultra model after 10 minutes of pressure cooking, I've let the pressure release naturally for five minutes and then I did a quick pressure release. So here is the pressure cooked uh, chana dal. It has turned really soft. So last but not least, the most popular legume or lentil, red lentil. So this is used in almost all kind of cuisines for soups and stews. And this is a very delicate and soft uh, lentil. So I have rinsed one cup red lentil under running water, adding to the stainless steel pot. Adding two cups water. Let's close the pot with the lid. Select pressure cook setting. So for red lentil, we only have to pressure cook for two minutes. So I'm going to set the time to two minutes at high pressure. It's a very, very soft lentil. So clicking start. So after two minutes of pressure cooking, I've let the pressure release naturally for five minutes and then did a quick pressure release. So here is the cooked red lentil. So two minutes of pressure cooking, it will turn really soft. If you want like very firm red lentil, you only have to pressure cook for a minute. Here are the instant pot pressure cooked legumes and beans and I have shared the precise cooking time. So guys, cook all the legumes in your instant pot and let me know your feedback. So it will be very healthy and nutritious and also tasty. So eat healthy and stay healthy. So if you have found this video to be helpful, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe. I'll be back with more instant pot cooking videos. Until then, happy cooking, take care and bye. Bye.